South Korea conducted its first orbital launch of the year. How did it go and what is the purpose of the eight satellites delivered to orbit? We will answer both of these questions in this episode of Space Flight News. The launch of the KSLV-2 rocket from the Narrow Space Center, originally scheduled for the day prior, was postponed due to inclement weather. Luckily, on the 25th of May at 9.24 Universal Time, nothing stood in the way of the launcher. Upon ignition of its four KRE-075 liquid oxygen and kerosene engines, the nearly 50-meter-tall rocket took to the skies. Entirely of South Korean origin, the KSLV-2, also known as Nuri, was not successful on its inaugural mission in October 2021. However, its second launch in June last year was successful as well as the current mission, which was its third in total. The launch cost for this rocket is estimated to be around $30 million, and the South Koreans are already working on an improved version with a greater payload capacity. The launch vehicle carried a total of eight satellites, weighing approximately a quarter metric ton. The primary payload was the 180 kilogram NextSat-2 satellite, which was primarily designed to test radar technology for Earth observation, in addition to measuring the radiation environment. The other seven satellites were CubeSats, mainly intended to test new technologies, such as optical observation of the Earth or the removal of orbital debris. There were also CubeSats for scientific research, ranging from monitoring Earth weather to space weather to plasma in the Earth's vicinity. Thank you for watching, and before you leave, let me invite you to follow us on Twitter, the link of which can be found in the video description. On our profile, you will find links to new episodes, as well as a variety of interesting facts and news about space.